right, guys, Nick and Matt here, Nightlife Kennel. It's been a while since we've been in the woods, buddy. It has. Been weeks. Mm-hmm. You've been itching? I know you've been... I, I've, been I've been ready. <laughs> you've been calling me, asking me to go. I have. I've had some knee issues, but I'm, I'm hoping I'm working my way out of them. So we got big plans to head off to Hickory to hunt with Jason Moretz tomorrow night. And I told Matt since we hadn't had the dogs in the woods so long, I was going to bring them down here for one drop and just knock the dust off of them. So not sure if this video is going to be anything really worth watching as far as coon hunting goes. But me and Matt, we're going to grab the camera, grab the dogs, and uh, nothing else. We'll get a good walk out of it. We'll get some entertainment. I mean, yeah. we always do. If I have to, there's a big river down here. No, I'll put, I'll put no, 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 time out. <laughs> no. No. Uh, I'm gonna push no. In. <laughs> Been out here about 10 minutes or so. We walked about 200 yards from the truck. Nixon hide about another 100 beyond. They've got about 500 yards from me. They can work down the side of this river. What is, you got about 800 yards total from the truck to the end of the property that borders this river. It's the same place we've done several videos. Nick's tree one right on the side of the river here one night. I brought uh, Brent and Waylon out here one night when it was about to rain. Um, this is a good place just to exercise some dogs. You got a long stretch of land you can you can hunt, but the problem is at the widest point it's like 20 yards wide to the river. Um, so you got like a big old hedgerow, it's got some trees. Sometimes you get on something, sometimes you don't. We've treated a few here. Um, generally a lot of coon sign, but a lot of times on the other side of the river. That's a big old river and uh, we don't have permission for the other side. So good place to knock the dust off. Hadn't heard nothing out of either one of them. They had a little froggy right here in the corner. They stand up winning and stuff when they took off, but we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. I got down here on the property. I just told him. Here he comes. Good boy, son. Good girl. Good boy. Gotta love a good handling dog. Look at the mess you got into, son. What you got on you? Well, you look like you got some cow manure or something. Gross. Nasty boy. <laughs> Nasty boy. All right, well, like I said, Hyde just run the end of the property. I toned him back. He come right to, so that's good. He ain't been in the woods in a long time, and still tone broke. Got to love my old man. Nick's is sitting there working the brush. We got about a half acre right here on the corner of the river. Sometimes got some coons on that, so we're just going to stand right here and let them work that. Hyde blew past it and was hunting on so I'm gonna let them work this for a minute and uh, they don't do nothing in it. We're gonna pull them out and go on to the house. Walking Nick's here back to the truck. And I will tell you one thing, she's forgot some of her leash manager. So I'm having to work on it with her. She ain't quite as bad at the moment as she was for turning the camera on. But she was pulling pretty hard. Hey, hey, quit. Now, points to be made. See this lead right here, got a chain. I am not hitting that chain on her hard. I'm just bumping it on her. Just get her attention, let her know. Very quick pulling. If you're gonna do any kind of lead training like that, make sure you got a word that you use all the time. Mine is back. Just kind of bump on. Back. Say like that, or say stop, or whatever you want to say. And I say, at least break your dog. A lot of repetition, do it when they're young. All right, there you have it. Didn't they get on no coon tonight? But you know, we got the dogs out, stretched the legs, uh, tested the equipment, found one of the collars ain't working right. So we got some things we got to tweak. At least we know uh, we're good to go for tomorrow night down with Jason. Yeah. So I'm sorry we didn't get on nothing for you guys, but if you don't mind, please hit that like button and tell a friend about us. We got some hunts coming up. We're hoping to get you some good food. So we love you. We appreciate you. Tree one for us.